This video is a beginner's guide to face makeup, from cleansing, swatching, application techniques, and fun tips and tricks. First thing I want to do is to remove my dream dots that I had on from last night that treat blemishes overnight. Next, I'm going to cleanse my skin with a pink grapefruit facial wash and pat the skin dry. Toning your skin is optional, but this will remove any trace of cleanser that's left over on the skin. Time to moisturize. Don't forget to apply SPF. I apply a light layer of SPF first, and then my moisturizer over the top if I need to. And we can't forget the lips. Apply some lip balm to create a supple texture for later. The first step in makeup is to apply a primer, but these are totally optional. Think of it like a nail polish base coat for your face. Your makeup will last longer and it will glide on better. Now have a good look at your skin. Do you need to even out the tone of your skin, or do you need to cover up some blemishes or dark circles, or do you need to do both? Concealer will cover up any discoloration like dark circles or blemishes. Apply it to just the area of discoloration, and then use the warmth of your fingers to blend it out. For very dark circles, apply a salmon or pink tone concealer first to counteract the darkness, and then finish off with your favorite concealer to blend in with your skin. For blemishes, apply concealer with a small detailed brush. Don't use a lighter shade as it will just create more attention. Use a concealer that matches your skin perfectly. Apply to the center of the blemish and blend around the edges. If you have good skin, apply a simple BB cream or try a medium coverage foundation. Test the shade on your chest and see which color disappears. This is the right one to use. Apply from the center of your face and blend outwards. You can use your fingertips, a flat brush which is great for dry skin, a flat topped brush which is great for fuller coverage, or a sponge. Now we're done with all the creams, we're going to apply some powder. If you plan on using a cream blush, make sure you apply this before you use your powder. Loose powders work great for oilier skin types as they're slightly drier, while pressed powders work great for most skin types. Use a large brush and lightly dust the skin with powder. Or use a powder puff to press the skin and this will give a heavier coverage. Once the face is done, I like to do the brows. Brows are really personal, but the way I like to do it is to use a pencil to outline my brows and then use a stiff angled brush to blend the pencil out. I also finish with a brow gel just to hold the shape. When choosing a brow powder or pencil, choose a shade lighter than darker hair or a shade darker for blondes. For redheads, choose a slightly redder toned pencil instead. Time for blush. To pick the right shade of blush, have a good look at your lips. The pink or purple hues that are found in your lips will usually complement your cheeks. For those suffering from rosacea, try a peach or light pink or purple blush instead. To find the blush line, place your finger onto your cheek and then your thumb right on top of your ear. This is your blush line. Use a small detailed brush and sweep over and back across this area. Your contour line is slightly below this. Go from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth. This is your bronzing or contoured line. Sweep your powder over and back, but don't use the same brush that you use for applying your blush as it can alter the shade of your bronzer. For your highlight, this goes right on top. Feel that bone around your eyes. This is your highlighted area. Highlighter doesn't have to have shimmer in it. It can also just be a slightly lighter powder. Sweep this around the eye area to create the illusion of a thinner face or just to complement your face shape. Finish the look with your favorite lipstick, lip gloss, or lip balm. And that's the look complete. For beginner's tips on eye makeup, click the screen now and I will see you guys next time. For today's Bye. eye makeup look, I'm going to show you how to create this look using two eyeshadows. One for the lid and one for the crease. It's a super easy look, so let's get started. So I've already started by priming my eyelids with a little bit of primer. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, you can always use concealer and a setting powder. This will create a blank canvas for you to work on. However, primer does give your shadow something to hold on to. So that's why I prefer primer over concealer. I'm first of all going to take that crease shade, which is a matte tone. And I'm going to take my blending brush. So you only need two brushes for this look, a blending brush and a flat brush. Starting with the blending brush, we're going to work this over and back into the crease of the eye. 
So the crease of the eye is where the eye creases into the eye shape. We're going to start on the outer corner and blend this over and back in this area. And I like to keep my eyes open so I can see the shape that I'm creating, making sure the depth of color is right at the lower point of the crease, blending upwards towards the brows and pretty much disappearing as it gets to the brow area. Take your time blending this over and back until you get the depth of color that you want. And then I'm going to take my lid shade. And whenever I'm applying anything that has a little bit of shimmer, I use a flat brush to apply it. The reason I use a flat brush is it helps the shadow to glide on, particularly with metallics or anything with shimmer or glitter just helps them to really hold on to the lid and glide and create that nice glossy look. You want to very slowly build this up, applying a little bit of shadow at a time until you get the depth of color that you want. You also want to pay close attention to the lash line because this is where you want the majority of the shadow to be, blending upwards until it reaches the crease. If you have harsh lines between your crease and your lid, take your brush and slowly smudge between the two. This will help them blend into one another, but don't be afraid to keep blending and applying a little bit as you go along. And I also took that lid shade and applied it underneath the eyes as well. I accidentally ended up applying liner. You might ask me, Sinead, how do you accidentally apply liner? It's because I had a little bit of eyeshadow on my lashes went to remove it using liner, hit my lash line, and then ended up having to do a very thick line. It's a bit like that meme where you go to do a really thin line and end up super dramatic. That's basically what happened to me. Rather than cutting it out or starting again, I just thought, let's just embrace the mistake. A little bit different for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.